Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ishma Carmako. This is the sixth installment of Keep Come and Speak Wrestling, where I will be, I will be showcasing my matches from WWE 2K15. The match I will be showing you is Brock Lesnar with Paul Hammer at Wingside going against the man called Sting. Today I will be talking about the RH Pure Championship. This championship is currently inactive. This means that this title is not still defended in a poison and doesn't need to be updated regularly. The Pure Championship was a title consisted for in the North American Independent Professional Wrestling Promotion Ring of Honor. Masters for the Pure Championship are consisted under three simple pure rules. Each wrestler has three rope breaks to stop Simmons' host and pain for us during the match. After a wrestler assaults his rope breaks, submissions, and pain attempts under the rules by the opponent are considered legal. There are no close fist punches to the face allowed in a pure match. Only open hand slaps or chops to the face are allowed. Punches to other parts of the body, save for low blows, are permitted. The first use of a close fist will get a warning, and the second will cause the wrestler to be penalized and will break if he is already out of will breaks and he will be disqualified. A wrestler is subject to a torn count by the way if the wrestler goes to the floor. While not a rule itself is worth knowing that. Unlike other chances, the pure chances can turn his hands on to the cover casing or kind of. The title was originally named the ROH Pure Wrestling Championships and its style to defeat CM Punk in the finals of, a, of an 8 man one night tournament to crown the first champion. The tournament took place at the second anniversary show and also featured John Walters, Chris Sabin, Doug Williams, Matt Tracker, Josh Daniels, and Jimmy Ray. The ROH Pure Championship was created after Styles were forced to vacate the Pure Wrestling title in the wake of Walt Finstein controversy that saw TNA pull their contracted wrestlers, which included Styles from all ROH shows. However, ROH in fact considered the Pure Wrestling Championship in the are always pure championship to be two distinct titles. There is no miss of styles on Ring Honor website as having held the always pure championship, and it was so dumb if ever announced in co commentary that styles held the pure version of the title or that it even existed. Weekend of Champions Night 2 on April 29, 2006. So the first ever top business time match and ring of honor as all is world champion Brian Dillison took on all his pure champion Nacho McGinnis. McGinnis. The match was contested under pure title fuse, but both the world and pure titles were on the line. Pure champion Nacho McGinnis won the bout by count out, but as only the pure title contests hands on count out, both champions retained. The two men faced each other again on August 12, 2006. The pure title was unified with the RH World Championship when R it was World Champion by Dennis and defeat Nacho McGinnis in Liverpool, England. Became as most of the only two men to have held the pure title in the RH Championship. That the World Title where Ed Styles rec recognized as a champion he could be counted at World for having held the RH Tag Team Championship. Nacho McGillicus held the pure championship for 350 days, making him the longest winning champion ever to hold on the title. Second on the list was John Walter, having held that title for 189 days. Samojo held the title for 112 days. 
Is it style 69 days? Jay Lee throw 63. Doug win 4 2. And also, Bounty Jameson with the last person to hail the art is Pewtile. But he gave it right back to Nigel McGill, make it tile vacated. Another topic I want to discuss about is which wrestling pay per view or not pay per view was the best in 2015. The first on this is Ultima Lucha. Nothing that could describe Ultima Lucha is this is based on hardcore wrestling. One of the most insane promotion I've ever witnessed. From top to bottom, it was one of the most craziest moments. As a wrestling fan. Number two on the list, WrestleMania 31. Plenty of dream matches such as Randy Orton vs. Seth Rollins, Sting vs. Triple H, DS vs. NWO, and Bray Wyatt vs. Sister Undertaker. Every single match was awesome, the entrance was amazing. Everybody was happy at the end when Seth Rollins became the first person to cast in his Money in the Bank briefcase to become the new WWE World Heavy Champion at WrestleMania. Three on this is best in the world with his swing of honor. Time for time between Jay Lethal and Jay Briscoe to prove who is the better champion. I saw Jay Briscoe's streaks on the line. It was everybody forgot because everybody was focused on the tile and not on the streak. The Kingdom vs. the Butter Club was fighting who is the best faction ever in Wing Honor, but I didn't like the part when the Butter Club should hit the super kick on Maria. Also, a noted cover case match between the Edison and the Witch Dragon for the Tag Team Towers was also a saying because they used tables, layers, and chairs. Even the match itself was incredible. In my opinion, a lot of great moments from Wing on preview, such as our uh, is 13th anniversary, Super Cup of Honor, and a lot of matches from around the Kazoo Cell based on, like I said, pure wrestling, a lot of great sportsmanship, wrestling. Also, this on is SummerSlam, which y'all know will be the best. Some some ever. Some some go four hours. Also, we have a top of time match. Johnson as the United Champion versus Seth on the World Champion. I said some some. It will be an awesome pay per view. Well, that's that's my topic for the best. Preview for 2015 this far in the RH Pure Championship. Next time, I will come with some new topics to talk about. Still working on some few things to, to discuss on my Keep Come and Speak Wrestling. It was nice talking to all my wrestling fans. Until we meet again. So long. See you later. This is my comic for the sixth time of Key Comics Speak Wrestling. You got any comments, leave a like button. The Key Comics Speak Wrestling will be posted on YouTube. So, see you later.